Yeah, right back at you, bitch ass nigga. You feel me? I had a number called me while I was in the middle of the, uh, my video just so they can be disruptive. You feel me? And I got this driver over here on my dick. Like, you can come out. Come meet me right there, you bum ass nigga. <laughs> Fuck's wrong with you, stupid little nigga. Anyway, man. Yeah, they tried to disrupt the video. Shit crazy, man. But I'm gonna post that too. That's just a continuation of the other video. Look at this nigga right here. No, no, let's see. I don't know. You can't go right here. There's a gate right here. So what are you slowing down for? What is she slowing down for, bro? What is she slowing down? Feel me? What are you slowing down for? Look, look at this. Then right here is a gate. So what are you slowing down for? Like that's what I'm talking about with these people. They always trying to hit. I don't want to hear that I was lost. Ho, oh, fucking liar. <laughs> lying ass people. You, I'm not even worried about the physical. I'm just worried about the lying part. That shit is annoying, bro. Feel me? They be lying too much. That shit is a headache. It's like, yo, tell the truth for one. Then they try to label me as a liar, which is even more annoying. Feel me? Because I went in the office and complained. Matter of fact, we ain't even got to do that anymore. I was curly for you. <laughs> yeah. Because I went in the office and complained about... um. You know, the abuse that I've been taking and everything else like that. One side want me to go ahead and complain. The other side does not. So niggas just stepping in. I'm like, yo, leave me alone. Like, that's the reason why I can't go nowhere and tell niggas nothing. Now, everybody's in my business. You feel me? There's just too many people in my business. Too many people in my business, bro. I can't even... Like, they all in my business. Like, everybody knows that I'm destined to be great. So everybody, once they have their hand in there and be like, oh, I'm the reason why, and take some form of credit. I'm like, yo, look, the credit is going to go to who it needs to go to. Like, who the fuck cares? Like, you feel me? Like, that shit crazy, bro. They just can't let, allow me to be. Like, niggas claim they, they credit this credit. No, nigga, I go through the pain every other time. Nigga, fuck is you talking about? So too many people want to be the one that stops. I was the one that stopped them. And if I do, maybe I'm the one that helped. Like, stop it, yeah? <laughs> like, that shit is crazy to me, bro. There's a lot of fuckery going on out here. That shit is annoying. Niggas act like they, they all for you, but secretly are going against you hard. 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 A smile in your face. All the time you seen is them backstabbers. Them backstabbers. Yeah, they break this shit down and they come around and want to fix it. That shit crazy, bro. Feel me? Niggas ain't in the back. Like, that shit is crazy. Just, that's how niggas make their money. It's crazy. I think you gotta find another way. I know about survival and everything else like that, but that shit is sad. They be causing a problem, then come around and wanna provide you with a solution. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> I can't be that nigga. I know I gotta have some time, some kind of integrity, you feel me? I can't do that shit. God don't bless shit like that. I'm sorry to say. God don't bless nothing like that. This nigga's a frontin' ass nigga. You on four wheels, you let me beat you here. What's up, my nigga? Let me show you something real quick. See that mountain all the way in the background over there? I still gotta learn a way to zoom in. Look at the gate. That shit broken down. Which was intentionally done, by the way. See the mountains in the background? This is not a painting, by the way. That truck is fucking it all up. You 
feel me? Stupid nigga about to get hit by a car. Not me though. Cause he over here about to speed just to show me that his car can move fast. <laughs> yeah, hurry up, man. Anyway, man. Yeah, I don't have time for that bullshit, man. If you don't like me, you don't like me, stay the fuck away from me. I don't have time for that fake shit. I don't, I don't like that shit. Keep away from me. Anyway. I said it's Black History Month. Of course, every month is Black History Month. I've been saying that for years, but LeBron James said it again. I'm like, true, true indeed, true indeed. You feel me? It is true, but we recognizing this month for the collectiveness of it all. And it's the shortest month, of course. They always try to be disrespectful. <laughs> they just haven't got over the fact. Yo, that shit is crazy to me. Why do <laughs> Yeah, the bitterness is real, bro. Shit crazy. If you think about it, like all the things that they've done to us and their so-called accomplishment, and yet they treat us as if this they mad at us. <laughs> you gotta laugh at it if you have a, a any high form of thought. You gotta laugh at it and be like, yo, we must the shit that they hiding from us. It's eating them alive. It's like a nigga that is a, um, uh, who got mad money doing way better than you, but yet still hating on you. Either that man is scared of your potential, or you have something over him that he can never become, and he envies that. There has to be some form of jealousy or some shit involved in that. My nigga, you supposed to be the, the almighty of this rum right here, right? Man, shit. Shit crazy to me. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that mountain back there. I probably gave away my location, but who the fuck cares? Yeah. Look how beautiful it is. And that's not a cloud back there. That's all the way down, down there. That's a fucking mountain all the way down, 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 down. Further, further back. That's how shit stretch, stretches all the way down. And of course, these fucking cars fuck it up. But, yeah, man, you see it for yourself, man. Like, it's like, these niggas, man. <laughs> niggas be having the advantage and everything else, but they're still on the attack. It's like, nope, we got to stop them. Man, that shit is crazy. I don't understand that. Word, I don't understand it. I was watching Michael Max talk on his interviews. It is the same thing that's going on then that's still going on now. <clears throat> the hate is a little more polished now, you feel me? It's a little more polished. Huh, seeing that the gates were wrong. Yeah, the hate is a little more polished, a little more fancied up, smoothed up, you feel me? But it's the same old thing, man. It's a little more confusing now. They separate, they, they separate it of us and have other people thinking there's something else that they're not. It is complex and confusing. That's what's going on. They try to confuse y'all. You dig? But it is what it is. We don't have to speak about Black History Month with, with the drama in it. You can talk about the good things about Black History Month. Feel me? We also can also talk about consciousness and how to be aware on how to see Black History from a different lens. Feel me? We don't have to see it from that point of view where it's more like the inter the, uh, the name of that show was called The Hate That Hate. It was a TV program showing. Malcolm X and the Nation of Islam speaking on saying things. It's called a hate that hate created. <laughs> At least they know. They said the hate that hate created, and they were saying that these people are hateful because of the things, and they was calling the African American racism for the or the hate the, for the things that they were spewing out about 
you know, the white men this and white men that, that those kind of stuff. And I'm like, yo, one, y'all need to understand that a person can only speak from the experience where they at. You feel me? If I, if I grew up in a palace and uh, I've always been treated good and everything else like that, the only place I can speak of, of is, is from a good place. Feel me? If I speak about my history, my history is going to be told in, an, in a very delicate way. Like, yes, Rolls Royce, and just speak in that kind of manner. You feel me? But if I was oppressed, and you telling me to tell me, and I'm talking about my experience to you, I can't be like, I can't be, <laughs> I can't be, yes. We barely ate, which was okay. <laughs> like, you feel me? Nobody speaks like that. You, you know what I mean? Like, if anybody that speaks like that, yeah, anybody that expects you to speak like that is a person who's still trying to oppress you. You feel me? It's unrealistic. You feel me? People are speaking from their experience and where they are right now. You feel me? When you hear about people speaking about their white race and the accomplishments of white society, you know, the delusional part of it. They be speaking, they be mad happy. Yes, and George Washington. Proudness. You feel me? That's the other side of America. But when we speak about slavery and everything else, yeah, it was trauma to us. You feel me? So we're going to speak from that kind of point of view a, a little bit. So I hate when they be like, oh, there's no y'all racist for not seeing it as such. You feel me? They got to be racist. They have to be. If I can see that and I'm from another country and y'all been around here for a long time, that means you refuse to see it and you refuse to acknowledge it and you just ignorant as fuck. And you didn't earn that power. Somebody gave it to you. You feel me? They got to be ignorant. If you can't see that shit, you feel me? And it's not just white people. I feel like Hispanic people are white too. Because I can't tell the difference between the two lately, you feel me? I'm talking about individuals, but a lot of them. You feel me? And they, like the, and, they, and they like the idea of being labeled as white. Honestly. Sometimes they try to front so they don't alienate us. <laughs> but I'm like, hey, stop playing, man. Y'all niggas is like... You can see this. You can still look, you can see the grin in their face a little bit. You're like, yeah, nigga, you like, like, you wanna be called white. You wanna be white. So let's stop bullshitting, man. <laughs> like, let's stop bullshitting. Honestly, like, I know they gonna hate me for this one. They always do. <laughs> the niggas always try to attack you secretly until you call them out. Like, I don't wanna hear y'all niggas attacking me secretly. I gotta come at y'all. They, I'm a. They talk about the. They learned about us, and it's the learn. How you learn about me? I'm learning about you too. So some individual talking about they learn from from the learning of it. I'm like, yo, look, man. There's two kinds. Like I explained between the liberals and the Democrats, there's people out there who say like it is bluntly, and there's some people out there who are very deceitful in how they approach it. You feel me? And that's the. There's a, there's a lot of individuals there, but that's the main objective between those two individuals. Feel me? Niggas who talk shit behind your back and everything else and still give you a handshake. Be like, hey, my brother, and everything else like that. And it's like, where I'm from, I can't deal with that. I can't. I got too many enemies to trying to figure out who is who. You feel me? We making moves. We, you know what I mean? We moving from right here to right here. I ain't got time to try to figure it out. I don't have the time for that. I ain't got no time, ain't got no time, ain't got no time. You feel me? So it's like, let's stop bullshitting. Because these niggas love to be called white, man. You see some of them, they just, they love that shit. <laughs> they love that shit, man. I be like, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you feel me? Yeah, just a little more tan, but yeah, you can definitely pass for white. You close, yeah. You close. You close to that, like you close. Yeah, I got your own little tan going on. I'm on y'all. Yeah, There's still a lot of blacks in there too. I mean, it's a nice mix. Like it's a nice mix, but most of them love to be called away. Even the ones that look like me, they all want to be classified as such. And I'm like, yo, it's cool. Look at these niggas. They at the place where I'm supposed to be. They just 
one car park. There's no reason why they should be parked. Oh, that short is she cool. I take that back. She's just waiting for a parking spot. <laughs> and then you got this nigga in the car right here being creep. Always being a creep. It looked like he just take pills just He's taking a lot of pills just to be up, upstanding. Anyway, look, man. Yeah, it's like, you know what I mean? They, <laughs> anyways, Black History Month. I ain't got time to talk about people who don't want to be black with us. You feel me? This Black History Month is not just for black people because there's black people out there who don't like, who don't want to be black neither. You feel me? Shout out to everybody else who identify with being black. Of course, he's gonna bring the garbage truck around because I use the word Spanish. Feel me? But Spanish is just a language, it's not a, a culture. It's a language spoken. It's like it's like one day we saying that I'm I I am I am English because I speak English. That shit don't even make sense. Honestly. Maybe it makes sense in England. But everybody speaks English, you feel me? Just like everybody speaks Spanish. So it's not it's not a culture, it's not a race of people, it's not a group. It's just that group of people, we can all identify and come together and say that we are the group of people that speak English. And we call ourselves the Englishmen, you feel me? But it's the same thing as Spanish, but it does not necessarily mean that it's a race. So when I use the word Spanish, I don't want you to take it that personal. You still gotta identify yourself in some form of way. It's not like me being African. There's not one language that describe African. Feel me? There's thousands, thousands of languages in Africa. You feel me? It's not just one language that is classified. No, I mean this is just colonialism. Just like the Africans' uh, language was stripped of them, African American language was stripped away from them. You feel me? And they gave us English. And they still, and the African American, even up to this, they cannot speak his formal language. Or his name was also stripped away, and everything else like that. His clothing, his food, and everything else. The same thing that happened to the Spaniel. Like you feel me? Their language. They didn't speak Spanish, honestly. The Aztecs and the old, ma the old, ma old man on the Mayas. They didn't speak that shit, honestly. They didn't. We know from history that the language was given to them by the Espanol when they conquered them. You feel me? So it's not, it's, don't take it personal, man. It's just the truth. And your name was also taken away. Jose and Victor and all that shit. That's not your name. Just like Robinson and Jackson and everything, else, that's not their name. So you actually more, you have more in common than y'all see. I'm just saying, you feel me? Don't hate me for it. You feel me? It's just the truth. Feel me? So it's like the culture and everything. That's not. That's not even. It's just that we've we've turned it into something that we've grown to love, and it has become part of us. And we've we found our identity through something that was the only thing that we had that was given to us, and everything else was deleted. So we made a culture out of a culture that didn't even uh, that didn't even belong to. Just like the uh, uh, the N word, when it used to be, it was used to degrade us. We used it in a way of um, we didn't use it to degrade ourselves. We used it in a lovely way. You feel me? What's good can be what's good for you can be bad for somebody else. So we just treat, we alchemized it and used it in a positive way, which is a beautiful thing to do. And that's what they also did too. When the language was given to them, they were stripped of their own language. They used the Hispanic language for something good. And the culture and everything else and the family sticking together and everything else. This is all good. But at the same time, do not use that against other people. I'm talking about the individuals. I'm not talking about the whole race, you feel me? Some people be trying to use that differences against other people who are in the same position as them. And it's like, come on, man. Like, Jeff, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> I decided to walk this way for a reason. Because I'm about to turn this off. But yeah, I had to just make that simple point out there. But I, I don't like when they get mad about saying things and everything else like that. Anyway, this is Black History Month. And I wanted to make that connection very vividly and clear. You dig? That we are all the same, man. No matter what color you are and everything else like that. 
watching old videos, some of those people could have passed for Hispanic people. Malcolm X could have passed for Hispanic. Some of these other civil rights leaders with their perm hair and everything else like that, they could have definitely passed for other Hispanic groups. And I'm like, that's crazy. But all these people in the video back then was identifying as black and was fighting for black. But now today we are more uh, divided than any time in our history. Because they want to define black by the color of black. And black is not, <laughs> everybody know all colors came from black, you feel me? Even white came from black. And from white, you have the rainbow color, like I was saying before. You feel me? But they diluted the whole situation. Everything has been diluted down to the point where we don't know where's the head from the tail. You feel me? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, though. Hope you niggas ain't listening. Yeah, let me just sit right here. Cause I see people on the roof. I don't want these niggas hanging on me. I know how they do. So it's like, you know, we know what it is already. Like, don't be mad at me because I said what I said. I know the hate is going to come already. You feel me? But it's all good, man. If you want to be white, that's on you. Even white people are diverse. Everybody that claim to be white ain't even white, honestly. You feel me? That's just the truth. Everybody want to associate themselves with something that is um, that has been positioned as it being the supreme over others. So people feel like if, if you can't be there, you got to join it. So they're going with that mentality. You feel me? So if it means, you know, having a color and having the hair and everything else like that, they want to be included. You feel me? Back then, people were uh, even the, what do you call them? I know it's a degrading term too, but I want to know the real, but you know people that they call like white guys that they call ginger with the red hair and everything else, they wasn't even included as being white, but now we see them as white. So the definition keep changing over time, you feel me? You know what I mean? They included more people now. First, it was the Italian and Irish was not considered as white. The niggas is white as hell, but they wasn't considered as white, especially the Irish is the mad bright. But they wasn't considered as white. But as time went on, guess what? They considered them that. That's going to be the same thing with Puerto Ricans. Then it's going to move on to... They're going to recruit Mexicans to be... You already see that already happening. It's just that they officially going to put it down in words of paper. Right now it's in practice. So it's like, you know, the definition itself is not... It's not, it's not accurate. It's just not accurate. Well, one thing that's accurate, one thing that is accurate is being that is the fact that we all came from Africa. You feel me? And that's just a fact. And due to epigenetics, the environment where you are is what um is is how the body adapts to that environment so that you can survive that environment. You feel me? It's true indeed. So, if your body requires you to be white to survive in that environment, like a very cold climate, then guess what? That's what happens. It's not going to happen right away, but as you have, every kid that you have will get lighter and lighter and lighter the longer you stay over there. And that comes from the, uh, the lineage of your grandmother, your great, 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 great grandmother. You feel me? I'm just saying. So it could be somebody as black as me, and if I stay in somewhere like Alaska, and I keep having, uh, and I, I make sure my, my lineage is produced for at least 10 generations, or it doesn't matter even if I had a, if my wife was as black as me. Our complexion will constantly deteriorate because of the environment that we are. Our nose will change, the lips, everything, the eyes and everything else. If we live in the higher mountains, then guess what? Our our eyes would be uh, this much, uh, like a, uh, almost Asian. 
nose will be probably a little smaller because it has to adapt because of the condition of the wind, how much air you need, how much sun you need. It changes the figmentation of it all. You feel me? It's like soil itself. Where does soil? Yeah, I said it's like soil itself. We are made out of soil, actually. <clears throat> Just like a soil, right? Sometimes when it doesn't get enough, it gets too much sunlight. And it doesn't get a, the a amount, the, the right balance of water. The soil cracks and shapes, and it forms according to the environment that it's in. But you could take the same soil and put it somewhere where it's tropic, and that soil would change the form of it. And that's the same thing with the human body itself, or the human genome. It changes, it changes, it changes. So that's what goes on. So I could be the same person, but if you put me somewhere else. Within the earth realm, I'm going to change. If you put me in Mars, I'm going to change. You feel me? And that's just what it is. It's like we are meant to change. We, we, we are made for change. <laughs> I said we are meant to change. We are made for change. Our body changes, and it's, it, it's, the, survive, it's the survive, basically. Because if it, if it remains the same, it will not survive. You dig? So it is what it is, man. Where's my phone? Where I check the time. So it remained the same. It would not survive. So everybody that it's kind of that's why even when you watch forensic files, they always describe people who commit crime as being stupid, and people who to me any any form of crime, and that also deal with you not knowing that you are the person that you hate and own. Like you feel me? What is this? Oh, okay. Let's see. You are the person that you hating on. Like, it just... You are that person that you, you despise. You are the person that, that you don't like. You are that person. You you are that person. Like, you know what I mean? It just 100 years later, guess what? You can't even recognize yourself. <laughs> Not even 100. Let's just say uh, 500 years later. Let's, look at, let's take a look at the African-American. Even the African American compared to me being an African right now, if you take a look at an African American, right, which is a Black American, and mm -hmm. you compare that African to me right now, there's a big difference. You can tell the difference. You could be like, one is African and one is not. You probably say that's like you feel me. You, you can actually identify it like, I want. Look at my nose. My nose is just much wider. It's breathing more air because I live in a, a hotter climate that. That is so hot that your nose needs to be wide enough open so you can have enough um, enough um, oxygen to breathe. I have big eyes to see, cause I I live in a I live in a place where it was a lot of land. You know what I mean? It was probably wild, so the eyes was given to you to be observant, to observe more, to learn more, and everything else like that. Cause you was receiving a lot of sunlight, and the sunlight is information. So. It gave me enough big eyes for me to be able to project everything out so I can get to see more and learn more. And I got big mouth and everything. So it's like, you know, it is what it is. That's just, you dig? So even when you look at, take a look at the African-American, you take a look at the, it's not, it's, really be a, it's not really a big difference. That's only 500 years. Even with all the mixes going on, it's still not a big difference. So you have to wait at least probably like a thousand years to see a significant change. I'm saying that to say that the change does not happen right away, but it happens. You feel me? Our time cannot be compared to um, other time. Just like dog years cannot be compared to man years. So when it comes to genetics, sometimes our time just can't match up. So we we are we are blind to um, we are blind to uh, not seeing the bigger picture of things sometimes. But we just gotta you know we can we cannot see. With our eyes alone, we have to see with our, with our, with our, with, with our, no, I can't say intentions, I can't say senses, maybe common sense, or you, we just got to see beyond what we are right now, that's all, like, you just got to see into it, see into the future type shit like that, but we are all the same, you dig, so, yeah, it just I just laugh at it when other people like you know whites want to be white you know what I mean some white boys want to be black Hispanics some Hispanics want to be white you feel me some want to stay black some some want to stay Hispanic you know and I'm like yo we are all the same man it doesn't really matter we are all the same y'all all me man I am everybody that I see I'm African 
feel me? I came out here and I saw myself in the African Americans. I came out here and I saw myself in Hispanic Americans. I came out here and I saw myself in white Americans. I came out here and I saw myself in Asian Americans. I came out here and I saw myself in Indian, Caribbean, you feel me, Americans? And I'm like, God dang, because I grew up, you know what I mean? You know, I grew up in Africa, so it's like, I was like, I was just like, yo, that's crazy. I see my uncle in this person. I see my aunt in this person. I see, I've seen all these people, but they just had different complexion. They expressed themselves differently, different culture, but I saw myself and others that I grew up with. Yeah, come pass by, pass by, fat boy. But I saw myself and others that I grew up around. <laughs> that I grew up that I grew up around in them. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like I really had an uncle that looked just like you. And you probably thinking that there's no way. Cause I'm I'm this complexion. I'm like, that's just the color, man. That shit don't be like that. Yeah. Oh that shit changes. I don't know why everybody keep going that way. All that shit changes over time, you feel me? They, now y'all, y'all all me, man. Accept, accept your father. I guess that's why they beating me up so much, cause it's like, you know, I guess I must've been a dead beat one. <laughs> that nigga hate you, Jeff. <laughs> I guess I left, I must've kicked him out, son. You know, a lion doesn't even allow his son to play around. Like, yeah, get, get out. But it is what it is, man. Look, man. I'm about to go. Wait, man. I'm going to work right now. Oh, I got like 10 more minutes. I'm not going to stay out here to talk 10 minutes. I'm just gonna... But the truth of the matter, shout out to Happy. Um, it's Black History Month. Black History Month is American history. Black history is American history. Plain and simple. Like, like, <laughs> nigga. How do I dare to explain that? Or do you dare to act like you don't understand? Black history is American history. It cannot be separate. It's more American history than American history. Shit, nigga. American history, my nigga, that's an insulting. Matter of fact, I got to talk about that real quick. Black history is American history because America is 230 years old. No, 264 years old. Blacks has been in this country twice or three times that amount. So which many black American history, which is the United States of America, was not even in existence when a black man was here. You feel me? So that establishment of the American reminds you, man, that the, the slave master had the African-American 200 years before it wrote its constitution and made America into what it is today. You understand what I'm saying? The slave master was incapable of cultivating his own land. I mean, who brings another person from another country to come build and cultivate his land and build his houses? Even the White House was built by the slaves and everything else like that. You feel me? It's not because they was lazy in any form. They didn't have the knowledge to do so. They heard about a group of people that built that built the pyramids and that built great civilization like the Maya Empire. Was no the Mali Empire? You also have the Ghana Empire. So they heard about all, all of us because they, mind you, they went to West Africa to go get these people. Most of the slaves came from West Africa. It was a Pacific location in Africa that they went to, which meaning that they knew where they was going to go get these people. Boom, mind you, because they got Eastern Africa, you got South Africa. They always try to make it seem like they was all over Africa just collecting people. No, most of the slaves came from West Africa, which meaning that they went to a Pacific location within those regions, like the Nigeria, Ghana, you know, all, all these regions had great empires, like the Mali Empire, the Ghanaian Empire. These, these, these civilization was also in trade with... Um, North America, I said North America, North Africa. They also was in trade with uh, people from Europe. They was traveling all around the world, you feel me? So they knew of each other already. So I don't want to hear, but we didn't know. We, was, we saw black people for the first time lie. And that's niggas, hold on. My manager passed, bro. Yeah. 
Yeah, so they, they made it they made it seem like they didn't know what they was getting. It's like my nigga, if I travel to another continent, spend all that money, I'm on the ship. You think I'm going to a place where I do not know for exploration? Explore, what are we doing? <laughs> this nigga was exploring. Come on, man. Stop playing, man. Stop playing, man. Like, they, was, they, they knew what they was going. They knew what they wanted to get. And they knew they had a plan from the beginning to be deceitful and all that. They knew what they... they it was already known. The moss was in Spain and left Spain around 1492. Well, 1491, 1492. And... They did, uh, Columbus left Columbus left uh, Spain to go go find Americans around 1492. So which means after the Moors were defeated out of Spain, they decided to attack what they felt like, yo, this is our chance to attack them right now. So the continuation of it went on after they pushed the Moors all the way back out of Europe and out of Spain. You feel me? If you look, if you take a look at the timeline, you can see that right after the Moors were defeated, it wasn't. It was less than five years when they started doing the exploration and everything else. And most of the boat that they were using to go into these places like the New World and everything else like that were of Moorish um, boats. You feel me? And the Moors was like a mix, a mix between Arabs and uh, uh, Black Africans. You feel me? It just you no, know, it just a mix between just those two. At first, they couldn't even identify both of them because they didn't even separate them like that. They were seen as the same. The only separation was the things that they believe in, like the the religion aspect. The well, even the religion, they were the same. It's just the culture, like the food that they eat and everything else like that. I guess I need. But yeah, but truth be told. Yeah, uh, I said I was going in, I guess a lot. But, because <laughs> I had to finish this topic, bro. Like, you feel me? Niggas be lying when they talk about, they don't know that, they don't know that they, what, what part of Africa they was coming from when we had great civilization already in Africa. Up to this day, they still digging, digging civilizations up and everything else like that. Monst Mensa, M Mensa Musa, the richest man on earth, even up to this day. You feel me? Once the Europeans saw that, and he went to, uh, he was, and they heard about the gold. Nigga was giving out gold. They had to come. You feel me? They had to. You feel me? It's just that they didn't have the information that was necessary. They didn't, they just started building their own civilization. You feel me? The white man started building his own civilization. You feel me? So you had a group of people for 200 years before you wrote the constitution. As a matter of fact, you had them from almost 300 years before you wrote the Constitution. You didn't even know how to cultivate your land or build anything else. To me, that tells me the Constitution and the ideas that came from the Constitution wasn't something that you... Be quiet, nigga. Fuck. Wasn't something that you just write overnight. This was knowledge that was passed down on from generation to generation. So most of the Constitution in there... Which is, um, which is, most of it, those words in the Constitution, except for a few that was uh, add on, most of it came from African mind. You feel me? It had to come from an African mind. That's why I don't even read, I don't read the law and everything else like that, but I know of it. I just know because it comes to me naturally. You feel me? It just makes sense. It's based on doing right. You dig? So that being said, man. The Constitution itself has African, um, black, American, African written all over it. You feel me? If you had me for 200 years and I've been around with you before you wrote the Constitution, trust me, I had an influence on a lot. Because I was, I was taking care of your babies. I was cooking for you. I'm cutting your hair. I'm cutting your land. I'm, grow I'm, I'm building your houses. I am the caretaker. I was taking care of everything else. That's what I was doing. So even if you, no wonder why that they had to deprive us of reading because they felt like, yo, we got to catch up. So they had to uh, stop Africans from reading a book and everything else. It was against the law for you to go to school and read a book. <laughs> I think that's so funny to me like that. You were scared of somebody that bad that you had to stop them from educating themselves. That is scary. That's how smart we were, you feel me? 
they right after the Constitution was written, bam, it's like, nah, all right, these niggas, that's it. It's over. And I just like, you know what? We gotta you gotta put a cap on the education. You feel me? And that's what happened. And I know that from my own experience sometimes. People be trying to stop. They just want to kick your legs off and trying to kick you. They trying to stop you because they're like, nah, he's doing too much. And it's in their nature to do so. You feel me? I'm not confused. I know what's going on. You feel me? So it is what it is, man. I'm about to go to work. You feel me? Poppy was in the car just listening to Poppy knows too. You know what I mean? Today, Poppy got a nice curly hair and everything else. Separate himself. Poppy kind of confused a little bit too. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You dig, but it is what it is. This is what happened when they deprived you of your history. It do become confusing. And you have to just, you know, we got so many years to catch up. So many years to catch up. But we've already caught up in no time soon because we gave them that information. So when we look at our own information, we can definitely look at it, and from the spirit itself, it gives you everything that you need to know. You know what you wrote, so it's get right in your DNA get activated. And from there, you just it just channels in and brings it out of you. All right, man, I'm out of here. I already see HR. I'm going to have to meet with them today. So they could just tell me, like, yo, we are sorry. I'm waiting on my apology, by the way. All right, man, go on. <laughs>